Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We will be studying a deposition model using LAMPS code, so let's get started with our example. You can follow the code lines while I am covering the explanations. This script is a sample surface deposition script for atoms, written in LAMPS, Large Scale Atomic Slash Molecular Massively Parallel Simulator, input file format. Here's a brief explanation of what each command does. Units LIDGE sets the LJ. Leonard Jones unit system for the simulation. Atom underscore style atomic specifies that the simulation consists of atoms without any molecular structure. Boundary PPF sets the boundary conditions for the simulation. In this case, the X and I directions are periodic P, while this direction has a fixed boundary F. Lattice FEC 1.0 defines the type of crystal lattice to be used in the simulation. In this case, it's a face centered cubic FCC. Lattice with a lattice constant of 1.0 LG units. Region box block 0505010 defines a simulation box with dimensions of 5x 5x 10 units, starting from 000. Create underscore box 2 box creates a simulation box with two atom types in the specified region. Region substrate block ANF 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 ANF3 defines a substrate region that's equals three units from the bottom of the simulation box. Create underscore atoms one region substrate creates atoms of type one in the substrate region. Pair underscore style leash slash cut 2.5 specifies the Leonard Jones potential with a cutoff radius of 2.5 LG units. Pair underscore coef asterisk asterisk 1.0 1.0 sets the LG potential parameters for all pairs of atom types to be 1.0 and 1.0, respectively. Pair underscore coef 1 to 1.0, 1.0, 5.0 LG potential parameters for atom types 1 and 2 to be 1.0, 1.0, and 5.0, respectively. Mass asterisk 1.0 sets the mass of all atom types to be 1.0 LG units. Ne underscore modify delay 0 specifies that the neighbor list should be updated every time step without any delay. Here's a brief explanation of what each command does in second part group adatoms type 2. Defines a group called adatoms containing atoms of type 2. Region mobile block 05052 INF. Defines a mobile region in the simulation box, starting from the bottom surface of the substrate and extending infinitely in the z direction. Group mobile region mobile. Defines a group called mobile containing all atoms within the mobile region. Compute add adatoms temp. Computes the temperature of the adatoms group. Compute underscore modify add dynamic slash doff, yes extra slash doff zero. Modifies the add compute to include the degrees of freedom for the extra atoms added to the system during the deposition process. Fix one adatoms in VEI fixes the adatoms group using the NVE, Newton's equations of motion, integration algorithm. Fix two mobile langevin 1.0, 1.00.1587,200 fixes the mobile group using the Langevin Dynamics algorithm with a damping coefficient of 1.0, target temperature of 1.0, and a random seed of 587,283. Fix 3 Mobile Inve fixes the mobile group using the NVE integration algorithm. Region Slab Block 050589 defines a slab region in the simulation box where the atoms will be deposited. Fix 4 add atoms deposit 102, 100-12345 region slab near 1.0 and V's minus 1.0 to 1.0 fixes the adatoms group using the fixed deposit command to deposit 100 atoms of type 2 with a maximum velocity of 1.0 starting from a distance of 1.0 from the slab surface and with an initial velocity in the negatives direction. Fix 5 adatoms wall slash reflect G edgy. Fixes the adatoms group to reflect off the upper's boundary, G, of the simulation box using the wall slash reflect command. Thermo underscore style custom step atoms temp a pair a total press. Specifies the output style for the thermodynamic properties of the system. Thermo 100. Specifies the frequency of thermodynamic output to every 100 steps. Thermo underscore modify temp add. Includes the temperature of the adatoms group in the thermo output. Run 10,000. Runs the simulation for 10,000 time steps. That's it. We just covered the deposition code. Thanks for following this tutorial until now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content.